Hey, it's Brad, and I wanted to follow up regarding the WooCommerce login and the new WordPress.com requirement. I just got off the phone uh, video conference with um, some folks at Automatic, and here's what uh, you need to know. Moving forward, you need to get a WordPress.com account set up immediately, okay? That's going to be for all of it, any and all of the clients that you manage. So if you've got a um, WooCommerce running at church uh, and you're helping them out, if you've got uh, WooCommerce running on, gosh, seven years, if you've got WooCommerce running on the shoe store, the uh, women's fashion store, the kids toy store, the, um, yeah, a lot of other ones. If you're managing more than one WooCommerce uh, account for somebody, let's say you've got tickets open in WooCommerce.com, you need to get in there and look at those. Um, if you've got WooCommerce running on the church's site and you need to go update their uh, expired card, um, or you'd like to go buy more plugins, or you'd like to go get more extensions, you are going to have to have a WordPress.com account. Maybe throw it in the catch-all uh, email or something like that that maybe you've got set up. Uh, but you are going to have to have that WordPress.com account, period. So moving forward, it, it, because there's a lot of people who do manage uh, clients' accounts um, for various different, uh, you know, maybe high-end or, or just, you know, for whatever reason, um, you are the technical contact and you are responsible for managing, purchasing, um, updating things, uh, things like that. I mean, mainly the info in, uh, again, this is, we're talking about trying to access uh, the WooCommerce.com site and to get in there, um, not, not the back end of your actual site. So make sure to use, it when you're managing, you know, or, or looking at or fixing or trying to help or whatever, somebody else's account, make sure that you're using an incognito window because WordPress.com uses that OAuth. When you sign in, you are signed in. And when you then go to move on, you know, you're going to go read somebody else's blog, you're going to go comment, you're going to like, do whatever, uh, share, anything else. If you are still logged into that client's OAuth credentials with WordPress.com, you're now doing whatever as that person or that entity. Um, so be very careful and make sure that you use incognito window. Again, there is no uh, foreseeable alternative and I completely understand why. I actually agree with uh, every reason. But moving forward, if, if somebody says, hey look, I am the CEO I need somebody else to run the technical side of this. Understand that the first thing you need to do is tell them, look, we've got to get some type of a WooCommerce, I mean a WordPress.com account set up so that you can log in and so that, you know, anybody, you know, the technical contact, the secretary and, you know, whomever uh, can now access the back end of WooCommerce.com. Understandably, 90% of WooCommerce uh, is run by, for most people, one person. Um, if you are one of the, you know, select few, uh, the, the minority, uh, who does have to get into other people's accounts uh, on a regular basis, and you do that, you need to know that moving forward, it's not going to change. They're not going to put it back. They're not going to change um, change it to any other method, you know, similar to uh, username and password. Completely agree with why. Um, would have been nice to have a little bit of heads up. Um, but again, that's understandable as well. So, again, let me just go through this real quick. Get a WordPress.com account made immediately. Because somewhere along the line, at the end of the month... A credit card is going to expire. A license may need to be renewed that wasn't set to automatically renew. So
something. Make sure to use an incognito window when you do that and understand that any future clients or stores, uh, companies, movie theaters, pizza chains, whatever, anytime you do this moving forward, make sure that you have that wordpress.com account because it will not, not ever be an option to go back to username and password. All right. I hope that helps. I hope that's a blessing. Love you. See you on the interwebs. Bye-bye.